Hi guys, welcome back to Recipes Recreated and happy Valentine's Day. Hope you are enjoying yourself or selves and um, having something delicious to eat, whether you know, you're able to go out or you're at home like we're gonna do tonight. Um, and I'm going to do one of my favorite things to do, sometimes we like to do it for dinner, is build a charcuterie board. So just picked up some of our few, some of our favorite things and then we always like to pick up something new we haven't tried so i'll show you that here in a second we did try to go to um like a specialty shop i don't want to say the name put them on blast but they were extremely like condescending the way they talked to you and, and kind of rude and just didn't have a good experience so we left we we chose to leave and just go back to what we know and we went to trader joe's um because we were going to try to you know be like oh let's make it special special and you know go somewhere really cool and different and get all these different like meats and cheeses and stuff but the experience was just not okay <laughs> so we were we were not gonna you know give our money to them so went to trader joe's so I'm excited. Um, so, and it's all about creativity and you know, that's where your creativity comes in when you build a board. So that's where my excitement comes in. But let me show you what I, so um, I've had these before. It's the Raisin Rosemary Crisp. I love them. Um, typically always get like the garlic naan too, cause we like that. Um, and the Parmesan Crisp, we love these. And I got something new we got or these things, um, the Romesco dip and some Zook sauce. Haven't had that, so I think that'll taste really good, hopefully, if it tastes good, um, with the, the cheese board. So we have some Jarlsberg here, uh, which we've had before. Um, of course, you always have to have the, the Parmesan cheese, and Skip loves his blue cheese crumbles, so we got that. And something I haven't tried before is some Asiago with rosemary and olive oil, so we're gonna try that. It does not look cool. So I'm gonna try that, and then um, picked up some brie, just a little petite brie. And then we have our prosciutto, um, some salami and some pepperoni and we typically like to do the cotton candy grapes because they're so delicious but they didn't have them in stock right now for this year um, and then of course I'll build it on the board here my little charcuterie board and not always um, do you ever see people put chocolate on the charcuterie board just to kind of throw it in there but I do just like on little ends or just kind of in between just so you know have like a little sweet treat in between bites or even afterwards, like, you know, a nice little sweet palate at the end. So I always like to throw some chocolate in there and I picked up this butterscotch, butterscotch bits bar. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, I don't know if it's delicious, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. And I thought this looked good too. Almond butter almonds. So they're just, um, yeah, roasted almonds covered in a sweet almond butter coating. So, mm. so let me get this all started and, and, and uh, blah, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. I'm going to get this all uh, put, cut up. <laughs> Calm down. I'm going to get it all cut up so I can put it on the charcuterie board and just kind of, you know, place it wherever. Um, sometimes I like to add, sorry, I'm all hot. I was, we were running around, just got home. I wanted to like get this going. Um, I like to put like greenery or flowers on the board because it looks really nice, but I, I kind of want to just cover the entire board <laughs> with all the goodies that we have since it's our dinner. So let me get started and I will be back. Okay, so really quick with the burrata, you just, I, you take one out, there, it comes in twos and it's wet, right? You want to leave the juice in there for the other one because I usually only eat one um, and kind of pat it dry and then We'll put it on the board and then we'll slice it open. And I usually put a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper on it. And then um, that's the way it goes. So hold on, I'm gonna put it on the board and I'm gonna put the board over here. Hold on one sec. Okay, you guys, so I put, put it all on the board um, before I cut it. I just wanted to kind of lay it out there um, before I start building the charcuterie board. And then I waited to show you um, the burrata just in case um, people don't haven't had burrata and what to do with it. it it's so delicious. Um, it's just, it's like, it's mozzarella um, cheese, like filled with a cream inside. It's so good. So I thought I'd, I would show you what I do with that. But I just wanted to show you before I start building the board. Um, I like to have it all out there and then I can start taking them and cutting them, cutting pieces off and then building the board. So, um, and then with the board, um, you see here, I kind of put the sauces in there. I have these little bowls that match this. So I thought it would be kind of cool. And I did taste these sauces. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. This, this tastes like it would be really, 
good in pasta. Both of them actually. Um, this is super spicy. I love it. So um, let me switch these so I can start it up and then I'll, I'll show you guys there. Be right back. Okay, you guys. So we have, you saw this here. I opened up the burrata, put the olive oil, the salt and pepper on here. And then this, this is just the petite um, brie that I'm just going to set aside here. We'll take a little knife and cut pieces off. <clears throat> I like to kind of keep it whole. So I think we'll start with just like, this is where you get creative and whatever looks pleasing to you, you know? So I'm going to maybe put these over here as they fall all over and get into the sauce. Oh, well, rustic, right? Okay. <clears throat> and then maybe I'll put some on this side. So that looks nice. So put those there. Um, and we have pears, but I'm not quite sure. I think I want to put some here. And these are pears that you just can like slice thick to put cheese on it. And just however, you know, I kind of like to do it where it's like on each side. And sometimes they like to say, you know, put like your meats and cheeses that go with each other. But if you don't know, put them wherever, as long, you know, wherever you think it looks good. <clears throat> so we'll start with that. And then let's see, we have some blue cheese. Let's get this off here. I'm going to put this right here, right in the middle there, a little sauce on it. So we'll put some here. I don't really have too much here. Maybe I'll, I'm just kind of kind of surround those with the blue cheese because I don't have more. I mean, I do have more of it, but hold on. Okay, now let's do, so we have some pepperoni. And this is where you can get like creative, like just laid out, or you can like fold them. They don't really hold their shape unless they're against stuff. So it's kind of like, let's see here if I can show you. Like I can just fold it in half, you know? And then, let's see, if I move these and start doing them like this, and folding them in half, so they kind of have a nice little decorative look to it. Pardon my scratched up hands. <laughs> I was playing with cats all, all week. Okay. And you can kind of move it around. Just whatever. This is where you play around, you know? Get creative been known to move stuff around so <laughs> so maybe we'll come back to that okay this one's like I want him to stay <clears throat> we'll come back to that so let's do maybe let's do some prosciutto how about that let's do some prosciutto right here prosciutto is easy it lets you do whatever you want with it <laughs> Throw some there. Maybe put some over here. Prosciutto and pears. That's good. I kind of like to keep it together though. So. You can like fan it out a bit, you know? Okay, let's see. Let's do some of these. These are like my favorite. Really took up a lot of them. These are my favorite. Put some here. Maybe throw some on this side just to balance it. I'm just kind of showing like this, the side of the cheese so it looks cool. Let's see. Well, these are actually yummy too. The raisin rosemary crackers oh my gosh so good so just gonna kind of throw some in here throw a little 
some more in there. <clears throat> some of this Asiago cheese that's like super delicious looking. So I'll put some over here. And maybe some over here. And of course the Parmesan. Let's put some right here. I'm gonna put some salami over there. So look at me running out of room. Put some here. And then I think we have Jarlsberg. Yeah. I think I'm going to move this around a little bit right here. Throw some Jarlsberg cheese here. That's the parm there. All right, I'm gonna move this over, put some here. Let's see, and then we have some salami. So these ones I kind of like to just fold in fourths. So it kind of makes like a little cute little fold. So like in half and then half again. That way you can kind of fit them anywhere. Because you don't want to just lay a flat piece of thin meat on the board, you know? You want it, you want it to look kind of nice, pretty. And of course, all the extras, you know, because you have some extra cheese and meats, just keep them out on, you know, your, your plain board. So if you need to refill, you totally can. So we definitely need to find some more room for the pepperoni because it's kind of getting lost in here, so. I'm gonna throw some more in here. This guy's trying to take a, a swim in the olive oil. Okay, so I'm gonna put some pepperoni, I think, here. Cause you kind of step back and look and say, okay, where could it look where it looks balanced and nice and pretty? So I'm just gonna put some here. And it looks a little like getting lost, right? So build it up if you need to. Just throw some in there so it kind of gives it a little bit more height. <clears throat> or move them around so it kind of gives it more um, height, not just like tucked away and stuck there. That kind of looks cool. So it's already looking good. We have and I always do the chocolate last because it's just you know kind of like a in between if you want a little sweet treat or afterwards like I said okay so we have some garlic naan we have some garlic naan chips that we're gonna put in here so I'm just gonna kind of put some around the edges I don't like that actually I like it here I'm always moving stuff around. There we go. That looks good. <clears throat> okay, so it's looking really good, you guys. I don't know if you can see everything. I'm kind of been working where you guys might not be able to see. So we have it all here. And oh my gosh, these almonds taste so good. These are so delicious. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of throw some by, like I don't know if you can see over here, by these grapes. Just gonna throw them over here. Throw some on this edge. So delicious. Um, and I, I, I have not tried this butterscotch bits in milk and dark chocolate, but I'm just gonna throw some. I don't know if you can see, just you know, some pieces, just randomly, just random, just a couple, 
maybe maybe one hidden over here <laughs> and by the grape so they're not it doesn't they don't make like a huge you know here we are just little accents so let me move this camera and then pan out so you guys can see okay hold on one sec all right you guys there it is like it was super easy fast and I cannot wait for it I'm gonna move out a little bit that's it super excited so whatever you think looks good and then you know I always have extra on the side if things need replenished I have it ready to go I have it on the ready All right hold on I'll be right back okay sorry I just had like a coughing fit <laughs> it was like the lemonade went down the wrong uh, tube and this sweater is super hot and I think that's why I'm so red so I'm like why am I so red I'm just like been running around um, but this sweater's like itchy and hot but I kind of wanted to look cute while we were running around so over that time for sweats right am I right Am I right? Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys, I'm super excited to, to uh, dig in on this and just get in my comfies and watch some movies or whatever on TV and just relax and have a, a nice relaxing Valentine's. No cleanup. It's all good. It's there. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day and a wonderful Valentine's Day. And uh, let me know if you do a charcuterie board. Um, send it to me. Uh, my, my Instagram is Angela B two, four, one, six. Um, uh, email, maybe I'll throw my email there so you guys can like email me pictures if you do it. Cause I love charcuterie. I love it. Um, <clears throat> actually have, I was like, I want to come up with a, like a charcuterie and, and come up with like a store and like make charcuterie. People can come pick it up, but call it amazing grays get it do you love that I know just take a minute take a minute okay right that's my idea amazing grays <laughs> so all right you guys I'm gonna get off this little <laughs> whatever I'm gonna go I'm getting all giddy and excited because it's, it's like it's so pretty and it's staring at me I gotta eat it now all right you guys talk to you soon and I hope you're having a great day bye